Hello and welcome to Sender Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to connect your Stripe to QuickBooks Online to synchronize your data and make reconciliation quick and painless with the help of Sender. To create an account in Sender, go to senderapp.com and click Sign up free or launch it from the app section in your QuickBooks Online company. Type in Sender in the search bar, click Get up now and install. If Sender asks you to connect your accounting company, please do so by following the system's instructions on the screen or clicking the Add sign in the upper right corner. Select Add QuickBooks or Zero. Now that you have your QuickBooks company connected to Sender, you will be automatically redirected to the Connect Payment Platform step. In case you already have Stripe connected and need to add another Stripe account for synchronization, click the already familiar Add sign and select Add Payment Platform. Select Stripe in the drop-down. If you're not an admin of the Stripe account you want to connect, you can request access from the person in charge. If you are the admin, simply click Connect. Go through some authorization steps and give Sender permission to read your Stripe data. If you have several QuickBooks companies connected to Sender, select the one you would like your Stripe transactions to be synchronized to and click Next. Now you have an option to quickly start syncing with the standard setup click I'm OK to start to do so. From now on, your sales transactions from Stripe will be syncing to the Stripe bank account in your QuickBooks, and the payouts, or Stripe transfers to your actual bank, will sit in your checking account for quick reconciliation. Although the quick setup option is preferred by most of the Sender users, I will go step by step through all settings to check whether everything suits my specific needs. Do not worry about configuring something incorrectly at this point. You will be able to change any settings within the app at any time. Let's start with the sales settings. Here you will be asked to select an account for syncing your Stripe sales to. It is highly recommended to use Stripe bank account for these purposes, which is pre-selected in the drop-down. It is a clearing account automatically created in your chart of accounts by Cinder for storing all of your Stripe transactions for clear reporting. You can change the payment method as well if needed. There are some advanced settings available for syncing your Stripe sales. For instance, you can set up a default customer for all of your transactions, instead of tracking individual customers for each payment. Click Next to proceed to product settings. If you don't need to track each and every product in your QuickBooks, you can set the generic product like Stripe sales for all of the Stripe transactions that will be synced to your QuickBooks by our app. If you do want to track individual products, but the product in your Stripe transaction does not exist in your QuickBooks yet, Sender will create it automatically during the sync. You can select the product type and the income account for all of the products Sender will need to create in your QuickBooks. Same with the default name for all newly created products. Sometimes you have a product name sitting in the description on the Stripe end. You can tell Sender to recognize your product from the description field in this case. In tax settings, you can choose to apply or not apply taxes to your Stripe transactions. If this setting is on, Sender will recognize all of the tax data within your transaction and sync it to QuickBooks. Here are also some advanced settings you might want to apply if it is needed in your case. Your Stripe fees will be recorded by our app to the Stripe bank account, the one that is selected for syncing your sales transactions. You can select the preferred name of the vendor, like Stripe and the category these charges will go to in your QuickBooks. Now we've come to processing payouts. This feature will make the reconciliation process quick and smooth for you. Once Stripe makes a transfer to your actual bank account, Sender will create the record of this payout in your QuickBooks and transfer it to your checking account, which you select in this drop-down in Settings. Forget about looking for matching transactions or adding them manually during reconciliation. All you would need to do is to click Match as Cinder creates a perfect match for the Stripe transfer in question. Finally, let's go through some general settings. You can set up Cinder to apply payments to unpaid invoices in your QuickBooks. It is also recommended that you enable the Skip Duplicated Transactions feature. We guarantee that Cinder will not create any double entries in your accounting company if you're using exclusively our app to sync your Stripe data to QuickBooks. There is an option to assign all of your Stripe transactions to a certain location in your QuickBooks, if that works for your flow. We also suggest to have the setting synchronize automatically ongoing transactions off for a while until you're sure Cinder works well for your needs and you want to make the syncing process completely automated. Congrats! 
you are now done with the settings and can sync your first Stripe sale to QuickBooks. All of the transactions from Stripe account you just connected will automatically appear in the Transactions tab within Sender. If they don't, just click Import All Transactions, select the dates needed, and click Import. You might want to refresh the page to see all of your transactions appear in the list. Now click the three dots near the transaction you'd like to record into QuickBooks and select Sync. The Open Sync log will show you what our app has created in your QuickBooks during the sync. You can check these details for all of your Stripe transactions within Cinder. Now click the Show in QB button to jump to the QuickBooks page with your transaction recorded there in detail. You can also find it in the Stripe bank account we've set for syncing your sales several minutes ago. Go to Chart of Accounts and look for Stripe bank account. In case some data was recorded incorrectly, you can roll back the sync at any time in just one click. The transaction will completely disappear from your QuickBooks and will be showing in your Cinder with the status deleted. You can go to Cinder settings, go through all of the tabs again, check if everything is set up correctly and adjust some settings.